Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Skyrim Plus. Today we're featuring Cozy Lakeside Cabin. Let's check out the map. Here we are at Cozy Lakeside Cabin. We're near the Guardian Stones, Riverwood, the Lady Stone, and here we are again at Cozy Lakeside Cabin. And here we are, home sweet home. If you love homes with lots of plants and color, you found an excellent option. As you can see, we're located right across from the island with the clay deposit and the corundum ore vein. Look at all of those water lilies this mod adds. And I like the water flowers mixed in too. It really spices up the shoreline. The mod author also gave us three crops of wheat, and look at this cool water feature with the bridge over it. So neat. Alright, let's go over here and land and take a closer look at everything. Okay, it looks like we've got our very own bench to sit and enjoy the view of the lake. Maybe check out our water plants, or see if there's anyone over at the Guardian Stones taking advantage of the buffs. But as much as I'd like to sit here and enjoy these views, we still have more to tour. Behold your beautiful bungalow with Bleak Falls Barrow in the background. I hope you like alliteration. Now before we continue the tour, I do have to admit that this smelter wasn't included with the mod. I use Solar's Portable Crafting to add one here to complete the smithing suite, so if a smelter is important to you, I'll leave a link in the description to my video on how to use Solar's Portable Crafting to add crafting stations to any home, or really anywhere. Now we're ready to continue. As we begin to cross the bridge to head towards our front yard, let's stop for just a moment and admire this water feature. How beautiful does that look? Okay, now we're ready to enter the front yard and look at all of this plant life, Look at the bees flying around. It adds a certain element of magic to the home. And check out that chicken on the table. That's fun. This truly is a house that's one with nature. To the right, there's an apiary for your stamina potion needs. And check out the front view of the home with some charming hobbit doors and windows. This gives me some serious Lord of the Rings vibes. And how great does that dark elf lantern look too? Next to the front door lies a basket of vegetables. Those are probably as a result of you harvesting from our next area to explore, the vegetable garden. You have potatoes, carrots, cabbages, leeks, and gourds in your small garden. And you also have a beehive in your tree to supplement the apiary. There's that beautiful water feature again. Let's see what the rest of the yard has to offer. Okay, straight ahead we have a wood chopping block, and then we also have a grindstone to the left. There's a woodcutter's axe to use with your wood chopping block, and a nest for chicken eggs that you can use for ingredients to make potions. Check out your outdoor dining table with a dark elf lantern on it. And then over here you have your very own anvil, and then there's name storage for ingots right underneath that cool window. The chest to the left is for crafting stores. Okay, that is the outside of the home, so we're going to take one more look at it. And now we're ready to head inside. Inside of the home, we have a large open space with warm lighting. As we head down the stairs, to the right, we have a fire with comfortable seating and with a cooking pot and oven for our cooking needs. There are some harvestable ingredients above that, and in the corner you have an alchemy lab with a satchel to store your ingredients and potions. Next, we have a shelf that has name storage for eggs, mushrooms, salt, milk, butter, and flour. And then you have a small side table that has some baked goods and name storage for bread. Now we'll squeeze in between the table and noble chair to find our quaint dining room table for two. And then as we turn, we see our bedroom area. Doesn't this tall hanging tapestry make the space feel grand? You have a couple of small candlelit tables, a double bed that gives a well-rested bonus, some lavender to help you sleep, and a dresser next to that with name storage for books and scrolls. That hallway leads to a room for your follower. And then we have a bookshelf and a shrine of Akatosh, which helps Magicka regenerate 10% faster. There's your arcane enchanter, there's a chest, and then above that, that small chest is name storage for your soul gems. As we head up the stairs, to your right you have a tanning rack, and below that is name storage for leathers. 
Underneath your hobbit window, you have a workbench. And then to the side of that, you have name storage for pelts, bones, and trophies. And you've got Paul the Polar Bear to supervise your work. There's that hobbit door again. And then to the other side of the door, you have name storage for spirits and a basket of apples. There's another one of those cool hobbit windows. And then this office area stores documents, special books, coins, and gems. Let's take one more spin around this area so you can get a full appreciation for what it has to offer. And now we're ready to head down that hallway and check out the follower room. In the follower room, we have a bench to the left, and then we have another one of those cool hobbit windows which shines down brightly on another shrine of Akatosh, a dresser, there's a bed for the follower, a small side table, and as we spin around, we have a stone fireplace with a Debellin statue. And last but not least, you have a tub to relax in at the end of the day. I think I'm gonna soak for a bit and leave you all with some final thoughts. Cozy Lakeside Cabin delivers on many levels. The outside of the home is a work of art. All of the plants make the home feel alive, and the hobbit doors and windows fit perfectly on Lake Elenalta's shores. It gives you both cooking stations and most crafting. Using Solar's portable crafting to supplement this home takes it to another level. And don't forget that you can bring a follower too. Hope you enjoyed this one. This concludes our tour of Cozy Lakeside Cabin. If you enjoyed the show, please click the like button and leave a comment with your thoughts. To see more of my past tours, click the playlist on the top left. To see my future content, click the channel icon on the bottom left to subscribe. And to never miss an episode, click the bell icon to receive notifications of when I post. As always, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next episode.